Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the technical forum of the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries. would like to invite you to sit down here, have a drink on the house, a coffee or tea or whatever you like, and to listen to the next presentation. I'm really looking forward to it because I probably learned something because there's a new type of electrolyzers. Uh, we will be presented uh, a new type of electrolyzer which is cost-efficient, cost-efficient production of hydrogen with AEM electrolyzer. And for that we have here the sales manager of Inabata Europe GmbH. Jens Bischoff, here he comes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for the introduction. And yeah, I will present this topic about the AEM electrolyzer today. And the presentation, I will first mention briefly a few words about Inabata and Heliocentris. And then men briefly mention the different technologies of water electrolysis, which are there already. And as a third part, I will introduce the anion exchange membrane electrolyzer technology to you. And then I will yeah, uh, give an overview over the different kind of products that we have and give the different markets, segments where you can apply those products. And at the end, I would like to give you some examples of application for the AEM electrolyzer where it works very well in comparison to other solutions. So, introduction of Inabata and Heliocentris. So, I'm from Inabata, which is a Japanese general trading company, and we have a history of over 200, uh, 125 years. And yeah, a sales revenue of over 4 billion euro per year, and over 3,400 people working in 16, 60 locations in over 17 countries. And as you can see, sales revenue is steadily increasing. And since I'm from Inabata Europe, I briefly show you a map of our European activities. We have five locations in Europe in total and a complete uh, turnover of about 81 million euro per year. And our main activities here in Europe are microfiltration, renewable energies, coating materials and automotive sector. But as a general trading company, we have uh, globally a lot of different business segments. Since this is not the topic today, I will not go through all of this, but we are also active in food industry, printing industry, and many other industries. But for today, the topic is hydrogen. So we are also active in renewable energy in Europe, Africa, Middle East. On the one hand, we are supplying materials for the production of solar modules and also components for the production of other renewable energy uh, instruments. And uh, today we are going to speak about hydrogen electrolyzer. As a Japanese trading company, we are not only trading, we are always uh, looking uh, to find new innovative technologies. And for that we have a yeah, worldwide network of suppliers and customers and we try to find new business schemes and new innovative technologies. And this is how we came also in cooperation with Heliocentris. Through those networks, we learned about Heliocentris and were really um, yeah, impressed with their technology. So we made a strategic partnership for the promotion of electrolyzer worldwide and also a partnership with local support for different projects in other countries as well. And in order to support the further development of the AEM electrolyzer, we also made a strategic investment into Heliocentris. So, since we are cooperating with Heliocentris, also a few words uh, about Heliocentris. It was founded in 1995, and it has different business units for energy management system, telecommunication market, fuel cell solutions, and training and research products. And in total, they are also uh, active in over 70 countries, mainly in Southeast Asia, Africa, and Middle East. And they have uh, following locations in Berlin. They have two locations in Dubai, Stuttgart, and also in Vancouver and Italy, of course. So now I would like to briefly introduce to you the concept of water electrolysis. So what is it? It's uh, for water electrolysis, it allows us the on-site production of hydrogen compared uh, to the solution of producing hydrogen in a different place and bringing it to that place. 
And the advantage of this is you can also use it together with renewable energy. And it's more cost efficient in many cases than having it produced centrally. So for the low temperature water ele electrolysis, we have uh, two, main, uh, two main technologies available. One is the alkaline electrolysis, and it was invented already in the 1800. And it's a very well established technology. On the other side, we also have the uh, very innovative PAM technology, which was introduced in the 1960s and is by now also very established. So the AEM electrolysis, developed by Acta and Hydrocentris in Italy, it's a merge of those two types of electrolyzer. And it has an anion exchange membrane. So, but on the other hand, you also have a small amount of alkaline solution. So Acta's R&D team introduced this kind uh, of electrolyzer in 2009. And one important part of that was to develop a dedicated catalyst, which doesn't need any precious metals and therefore is much cheaper to produce than alternative uh, electrolyzers. And in 2009, they were then able to introduce the first stack. And here you see a picture of the stack, and I will give you a few key facts about it. You have a very high energy effic efficiency of 4 kilowatt hour for one cubic meter of hydrogen. So you can have lower cost than with a PEM electrolyzer. Also uh, very important is that you get high purity hydrogen. And if you add an additional uh, purifier, you can even have a further increase of the purity. Uh, also an important factor is that the hydrogen is self-pressurized at 35 bar already. And one very important uh, difference to PEM electrolyzers is that it's less stringent water requirements. And also you have a simple balance of plant and low maintenance, and you can use it with renewable energy sources together. So it can deal with fluctuating energy input. So this is a picture. Uh, of the electrolyzer stack and also uh, design of how it works. But basically, it's very similar to the PEM structure. Uh, you also have a, a membrane, but an anion exchange membrane. And then you can see that on the cathode side, the hydrogen is produced. And for uh, the membrane in the middle is for safety reasons also. And you can get the high pressurized hydrogen so now I will briefly introduce to you the different kind of products we can offer with this electrolyzer system. On the one hand, we have on-site hydrogen production, which can be used, uh, for example, for fueling stations. On the other side, we have also a combination of electrolyzer with fuel cell system, which can be used for the industrial on-site energy storage as well. And then we also have a modular system for third-party integration. And here you can see a picture of the electrolyzer cabinet. And if you want to see it in real, we have it at our booth. So you're invited to come later and see it. And on the top, you have the power module. And below that, the electronics and then the dryer. And in the bottom, you have two stacks of the electrolyzer modules. And here you see a technical data sheet of the electrolyzer 1000. And I would like to emphasize two points. On the one hand, the water specification, which is really low, um, the requirements compared to PEM. <coughs> and also, I would like to emphasize the operative power consumption of just 4.5 kilowatt. Then there are different kinds of markets where you can use this kind of technology. On the one side, on-site production for industry, hydrogen re refueling stations, and also power to gas. And on the other hand, industrial on-site energy storage, for example, for the emergency power in good grid situation, or for the um, supplemental complementary power in unreliable grids, where you sometimes have power outages. And also, you could use it for uh, completely off-grid applications as well. 
and uh, yeah, also small on-site energy storage. And later on, I will give you a few examples for especially the middle part, because we think the AEM electrolyzer is very well suited for this kind of application. So an increasing number of customers already uh, are using this kind of AM technology, so it's already applied in the field. And you have uh, these electrolyzers under real difficult environmental conditions as well, very cold temperature or very hot temperature. And now I'm going to show you, show you three examples of this. The first one is uh, Sinex Construction House in Thailand, in Chiang Mai. The project was to develop a system of 40, uh, 24 hour supply of energy from solar and uh, stored hydrogen for residential house. So the idea was to have a residential house which does not need any grid connection. And for this system, they used a combination of solar, better li uh, battery, electrolyzer, and fuel cell. And the size of the PV system was 114 kilowatt. And the electrolyzer in this system can has a production rate of 2,000 liters per hour. And you have a storage capacity of hydrogen, which is equivalent of about 130 kilowatt hours. So during the day, you can uh, produce the hydrogen for st storage. And in the evening, you can use this energy to create electricity again. Then we have the second example. It's uh, Telstra. It's backup for telecommunication. It's an um, off-site situation. So it's in the Yarra Rangus National Park in Australia. And the uh, challenge was that the environmental conditions are very often changing here. And also, it's an isolated locality. So it's not easy to go there for maintenance. And for this kind of application, uh, the solution was also to provide backup power by solar, electrolyzer, and fuel cell system. And um, the good point is also you could use the system with rainwater. So it's not necessary to have a connection with a high pure water supply. And this system has a backup power for 10 hours, for about 10 hours. But this can additionally extend it if you place a few more hydrogen tanks. And um, I would like to mention also that this system is successfully used. So there have been already several power outages but the system always uh, kicked in on time and uh, was able to supply the backup energy. So as a last example, I would give the Pavidian refuge camp in the Alps. This is on 2,600 meters height, so it's a very off-grid situation. You don't have an electricity grid there and no water supply. And here the um, idea was they already had solar panels there, but most of the energy was actually wasted because in winter nobody is in this refuge, nobody is using it, but still the solar panels were producing energy. So the idea was to, um, in addition, uh, install a hydrogen electrolyzer fuel cell system. So in the winter you use the excess electricity to produce hydrogen. And then in summer, this hydrogen is used to supply energy again for the people when they are coming to be here. So, and now I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Bischoff. Here's your applause. Thank you. For this wonderful presentation. Uh, I've learned a lot because I didn't know the, uh, these kind of electrolyzers yet. Uh, so uh, maybe you have some question about this kind of electrolyzers and about the applications uh, you showed us, Mr. Bischoff. Any questions around? Not at the moment. Well, for me, it's quite interesting because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's as you said, it's a mixture of the PEM and alkaline uh, fuel cells. And you also pointed out the most important thing is cost, of course. In this technology, it's always cost. You pointed out it's, it's uh, cheaper than PEM electrolyzers, but it's obviously not cheaper than alkaline. Otherwise, you have said that. Well, maybe Alberto Capita from Helio Centris yeah. can also help with the question and answer because he's very well... Uh, okay, I, I may introduce Alberto Capita, an electrolyzer sales and marketing manager from Helio Centris. Good to have you here, Mr. Capita. So, would you like to answer me my question? Hello. Yes. So, actually, the, the alkaline electrolyzers uh, are 
in a, in a bigger range than the, the, the range that actually uh, we are in. So uh, basically, in uh, the low range of power, uh, we are competitive uh, uh, also against the uh, conventional arc electrolyzers. So because uh, the conventional arc electrolyzers, uh, of course, they do have a lower price, but when we are talking about uh, 10, 20, 30 cubic meter electrolyzer and higher. But uh, if we talk about uh, an electrolyzer that is smaller than uh, five cubic meter per hour, basically no competition. Uh, the AEM technology is uh, both on the CAPEX and OPEX side uh, completely uh, competitive in price against both AEL and PAM electrolyzers. Thank you very much. Any other questions from your side? Just raise your hand. I'll be with the microphone right with you. Well, then I would like to advise you to uh, visit the two gentlemen at their booth. In Abata is just over there, and Helio Center is on the other side of... Uh, you're, you're all together on it's, Abata it's the same booth. All actually. right, very good. So it's just over there in Abata, this uh, row down. So uh, use this opportunity and g give them a visit. Uh, there are no more questions at that point. Thank you very much once again Thank you very much. to the gentleman. We have a little pause here now and we'll uh, start the next presentation at 3 o'clock about value proposition for microgrid expanded metal foil. And uh, John Hart will speaking, business development of Dexmet Corporation from Connecticut in the United States. See you at 3 o'clock.